preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? You waiting for someone? Hmm. Not anymore, young man. I was waiting for you. You look like a clever sort of fellow, and chivalrous too. You wouldn't leave a damsel in distress, would you? Why? I mean, I might. Want somewhere. Now, now, handsome. Don't be mean. I've got a job to offer you. There's an old granddad sitting in the alehouse there. Yesterday, he made use of my services, and he said he'd pay me in the morning. Only now, he pretends he doesn't know hmm. me. I want you to take the groschen he owes me from his purse and bring them to me. I'm on it. I'll be back with the coin before you know it. Good luck, then. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh... You pay for services rendered, guys. It's just common courtesy, and... Where's the old man? Here, enjoy it. Welcome, Henry. To the women. Hey, who here bought the old whore and didn't pay the money back? I know it was one of you. It was fucking one of you. It was only 20 groschen. Cheap. Hey, you, you old fuck. That's him, right? On me. Just up to no good. Just uh making sure this gentleman pays what is owed. Uh, door key, trunk key. Alright. Pay for your whores. Got your coin for you. Though I have to say, robbing a wretch who doesn't look much better than you doesn't exactly fill me with pride. Thank you a thousand times. Keep half as a reward. Thank you for the uh nom. Oh man. Have you got something else for him? For you, always. You brought me coin for food, but I'm cold, and I've no one to keep me warm at night. I'm um, sorry, I can't do that for you. Unless you want me to steal a blanket for you. Not a blanket, but a lovely woolen shawl. My own. I was desperate, so I swapped it for a morsel of food, and now I'm sorry I did. Get it back for me, please. Consider it done. <laughs> Thank Where's... you, handsome. I gave the shawl to a village woman who lives not far from here to the west. And to make it worth your while, she's got some fine old books stashed away in a trunk. It's surely worth a tidy sum if you can get your hands on it. Goodbye. Where is the village woman? Henry the Stealth Knight. Old Whore Shawl. I am kind of curious what the book is. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay down. Got anything on him? Oh, you got that salami on him. He can keep his money, though. All right. Old whore. My humble greetings. Here's your woolen shawl. You're the soul of kindness, looking after a woman who's down on her luck. I wasn't always poor, you know. 
and I haven't always walked the streets. Oh, have you not? Tell me sure. something about yourself. I was a farmer's wife at Neuhof, and I wanted for nothing. I had a decent dowry, and my husband didn't beat me. Only one day he found <laughs> Jesus. himself another woman and threw me out. He wouldn't even leave me my dowry. Everything was I great. For a while. Uh, I had but a little bit. My husband didn't beat me. Had. You know, what else pretty much the life of royalty. All on account of that bastard. Is there anything else I can help you with? Remember how I told back. you about my husband? Well, now, after 20 years, the time has come to get my own back. My former husband is a farmer in Neuhof. He's the one who put me where I am today. And now he pretends he doesn't know me. But the ornamental dagger I gave him back then, that's still good enough for him, all right. I want you to steal it from him and bring it back to me. You'll get your reward. But it'll take a little while. No sure. said then done. Goodbye. Who said chivalry is dead? I'll steal that dagger back for yeah. the old whore. Alrighty. Instead of stealing, like, I have all these points in charisma and stuff, it'd be ideal if I could just, like, go and be like, yeah, give me the dagger back. Hey, who's that? It's me. It came from over here. What are you doing here? It's time to get naked again. got old horse dagger trunk key door key sure anything else in here though oh no henry's taking up a life of thievery I really don't want the carrots or anything. Mead and wine and spirits. Some cheese. Damn, cheese. You guys are fucking loaded. I mean, you have perishable goods. Imagine being so well off, you have perishable goods. Hey, you probably don't come out here. You definitely shouldn't come out here. Is there something you need? Um, no. What's up? Oh. Nobody was harmed in the making of this lab. Just tired, dude. I knew it was this easy to just like never really messed with the uh actually gonna unlock these because I want the uh experience for lock picking. Okay. 
Anything cool? Ooh, a necklace. Tee hee, tee hee, bye. Yeah. It's kind of crazy because I was literally just looking at the one of the empty slots that I have is the uh, necklace. Now I have one. The height of middle age Bohemia fashion. I do still kind of want to go back. I want to see how much money I have because if I can finish that church, I'm sure there's an achievement. For doing so. Is this your dagger? That's it. Thank you. You've proved not all men are complete swine. There's just one last little thing you could do for me. What do you fucking want? Last, you say? What is it? After he threw me out of the house, that bastard put another woman in my place. A younger one. Oh, I bet it's the necklace. With my dowry. Can you believe it? My dowry? The bitch. I want you to get the key to that trunk. That bitch always has it on her. Well, wouldn't it be simpler if I just brought you what's in the trunk? That's sweet of you. But there are some things I have to do myself. I want to enjoy my vengeance. Just bring Something me tells me she's banking on that. Something but tells me she's banking on getting that necklace. Again. I'll get on it. Good luck, then. Hmm. I don't want to knock her unconscious and then... Man, this family is having a really bad time. She's gonna be really upset because I took the uh, took the necklace. I'm a problem. Yeah. Here's the key to the trunk. At last. Now I have everything I need and I'll be happy again. Thank you, lad. Come and see me tomorrow. I'll pay you everything I owe you and a lot more. Oh. God bless. I'm glad to see you. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Yeah, because I'm him. A whole bloody lot. Well then. Let's see how you look in it. Good luck. Your goon squad. Oh. Is that it? it it's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? 
I got it straight from the fucking humans. Oh, it's not exactly uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt speckled down. They just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Mirror Mirror's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Mirror Mirror? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's, he's talking, talking about. Guys. He's been eye to eye with a human and he's lived to tell it. I literally just got three. What do you mean? Yourself. Nah, what are they now? Hey, I think well, I got anyway, all this fucking armor. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Hey, yo, mirror, mirror. Huh? Hey, where is that fucking loser? This guy looks like a lion. Fuck. Uh, what can I do for you? They tell me you've seen a lot of humans. They say you'd recognize one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair grow. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name, anyway? That's nothing to you. Hmm. Anyway, not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna, when all of a sudden, a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the worst. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Well, where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path, couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, I hate to say it, guys, but I think this guy's full of shit. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing with malevolent creatures ranged around it, singing demonic songs. <laughs> demonic, you say? Uh, these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big choir! Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were humans. And a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with fornicating. she devils. We stood there paralyzed with fear. Until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape. Since that time, I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it, peasant? I'm from fucking Scalitz. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the humans look? Oh. The people from around these parts. Bram, the charcoal burner, told me about them. He lives in the woods near here. Then there's Olena, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman. Uh, and she young likes, Vashak, uh... a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. Silly rumors. Good day, Henry. There you, Brian. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? They say you know what humans look like. I do. Once, when I was going alone through the dark woods... That's of no interest to me. Ah. Uh, but... Uh, look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well... Well... 
They're decked out in raven feathers because... Or so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. God. You know, it wouldn't be an RPG if there wasn't some kind of like janked horse riding, would it be? It would not. Hey, you. Good afternoon. Uh, they say you know about humans. Fangs. They wear wolves fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. Then they can creep around like beasts of prey as sneaky as death. Mm, that was mm -hmm. quick. Fangs. Fangs. I actually haven't talked to this woman since I uh, did the whole one mission. God be with you. I was at the Ujit's women's Sabbath. And how did it turn out? Bad. The women were making such a ruckus, the woodcutters took them for witches and burst in on them. They meant to kill them. Jesus Christ. And how did it end? I killed them all. Killed them? God almighty. You killed the men who went to see what all the noise was about? I didn't have much of a choice. There was no talking with them. They were determined to kill the witches. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I did the Holy worst I could have. Mother of God, you're my witness. I meant no harm. Forgive my sins and have mercy on me in my final hour. And as for you, you'd better go. God. Or you get to slow yourself down. Gone. Like you were talking about doing. I got fucking everything. Wow. Hear that? You got fucking everything. Come with me. Goodbye. I'm gonna What's come out of here looking so like a fucking. Dark, I'm gonna look really so dumb. No. Ready? Good. Now put it on. Hmm. Well, that's an improvement. That's good. That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. <laughs> if I met you at night, I'd that's exactly if I met you at night, I'd shit you myself. Like. <laughs> Says a man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think humans look like. Yep, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. Are we? So I'm trying to get it moving. I'm trying to got the human disguise. God be with you. Have you seen a Have you heard about any just some talk about lost sheep and indecent wenches? Probably nothing, Probably nothing to interest, interest me. Of course I care about it. Sheep and wenches are my thing. Where do I find <laughs> them? Sheep and wenches are my That's thing. That's over and done with. They ran away into the forest. The wenches. The sheep. Well, we better get back to work. Mm. I don't really have anything specific right now, but I did hear about something, uh, something interesting from one of your neighbors. Who? I, I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. He said his family owned the Scallets Tavern. Young Adam, then. And the interesting part? He decided he wanted to go back home, see the damage and so on. And someone looted it right in front of his nose. I oh, know. I've met those scavengers before. It's not that interesting, just sad, really. Well, it certainly isn't Christian. But the thing is, they were hiding money in that cellar of theirs. And did he say where he was going? He said he's going to Ratai, that he has some arrangements there. That works out. easy to find him. Ratai's a little overcrowded nowadays. You need to go to Ratai and empty my inventory anyway. Bloody hell. Do you want me to hold your hand while you do it? I'll be on my way. Go. Go. God be with you.
Man, that really does chat my ass, though. I was doing really good in that fight against those three, and they had some fucking money gear on them. Need to get my, uh... I mean, straight up, I just need to get my stats up even more. I guess whenever, like, you lock swords or anything like that with them and they, uh, overpower you, it just means their warfare stat, like, it's like a stat check. And my warfare is, I think, yeah, 15. So, I just lost the check. Greetings. I'd like to enroll. You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanish announces. Take care. I didn't want to join anyway. I find out where this Adam is. But first, while we're here, it's time to sell some shit. Flower. I'm glad to see you. You went to Scallets on your own, didn't you? That took guts. No, not really. It took me a while before I could work up the courage. That was sensible of you. I went back straight away, and I almost got killed. I know. I heard. That's part of the reason I was so nervous. And how did it go? Did you do everything you wanted? There wasn't anyone. Anything to do. Someone already did it before me. I wasn't even able to catch that thieving bastard. What thief? Some shady looking character. Whole face smeared with soot. He shot out of the basement as soon as I went by and ran away with his loot. I got such a scare. I didn't think about running after him, and he stole absolutely everything, even our new kettle. What did he look like? I didn't get a good look at him. He was covered in soot, and his sack of loot was so full, he had the kettle tied to it on the outside. It was gleaming. A sooty man, a big sack, and a new kettle. Of course, he could clean himself up and throw away the sack. Maybe it was a devil, mm. or a charcoal burner. You know? It really could have been a charcoal burner. That sack definitely looked like a charcoal burner's sack. And there are a lot of those around Rovna, so he wouldn't have far to go. What was it he took from your place? I don't know. My father told me never to talk about it. What harm is there in telling me now? I can't steal it. Someone got there before me. That's true. My father hid some money and valuables there. There was... there was a jeweled cross. He wanted to give Bianca as a dowry. Oh, Bianca. What did the cross look like? Henry's first girlfriend. Why do you ask? Well, if I saw it somewhere... I'd... What? You want to look for it? Well, like I said, if I see it or hear something about it, we'll see. That would be so kind. I have nothing left. If I had that cross, at least I'd have something to remember them all by. The cross itself was silver. And it had a small red ruby in the middle, like a heart. And it was hanging on a red string. Adam, listen. You're a friendly fella, and you know a thing or two about the tavern trade. How would you like to be my innkeeper? What? Me? Innkeeper? I've got a tavern in Pribislavitz. Sir Divish put me in charge of building new homes there. But who wants to live in a village without an alehouse? And someone's got to run it. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but... Yeah, I figured I'd have to finish this quest. Now. But come back to me another time, if you're still interested. Good luck, then. Part of the main quest, it was like, make sure you get certain shit done. Because you won't be able to do it afterwards. I found Adam and asked him about his stolen stuff. And did you find out anything useful? You could say that. It was a man covered in soot who stole a new kettle and a silver cross. No one tried to sell me a kettle, but... Uh... That cross had a red stone and string, right? How did you know? Don't tell me you're a fortune teller. Of course not. Someone offered to sell it to me, but the whole thing seemed shady, so I told him I didn't want it. 
And do you have any idea who it was? I don't know his name. Just said he's a charcoal burner. He's from Rovna and only shows up here occasionally. Okay. So a complete stranger just happens to wander in here and offers to sell you a stolen cross. Come on. You definitely know who it was. I have got a reputation for being reliable and being able to arrange certain things. Yes, that's what Fritz said. Andrew's the man to go to if you need anything tricky arranging. So surely you know what the charcoal burner's name is, right? Well, I don't know everything. Just we got a name, boys. Called Tonche, and he's from Rovna. But as for where exactly, I can't help you. I never went there, and I didn't ask. So what did he say? Nothing. He wanted something to eat and drink, and then left. And that's it? Yes. If he cursed me, then he did it under his breath. All right, I'll look into it. <laughs> God's home. I'd like to buy a... Well, now. I have. Nothing but the best. Is there one in... Yep, we want War Horse Jinda. Oh, the best horse I ever saw. Strong, fast, loyal, proper war horse. But... Well, he it's ain't busy. the most fragrant. Actually, he reeks. He stinks. To tell the truth, he's... Stinky stinks. horse. Diabolically. Maybe... I actually want to see what the stats are. I'll be with you. How is it? What? I heard that this horse was better. It's a lot of stamina, though. But stamina has not really been an issue for me. Never mind, Busey. I think Busey wins. You, uh, you're safe this time, Bucephalus. Okay, we got, like, actually one day to go back to the tournament. I really do want to do that tournament. Supposedly you get a good set of armor from it. And you know, we like our armor. Yeah. Game saved. Shit about to go down, dude. your service are you the charcoal burner named Tonchek? i'm not why do you ask i heard he could help me get something so i wanted to find him if you want i can get you a bag of charcoal but that's about it oh whoop I'm your really ass not interested in charcoal where can i find Tonchek? he's got a cottage up there in the woods but he comes down here to work take care Alrighty. I just want to talk to him. If he puts up a fight, I'll kill him, but, you know. Those are the rules. Oh, come on. Buddy? God be with you. And with you, sir. You're the charcoal burner, Tonchek. That I am. What do you want? I heard you had a nice cross. I did. But what's that to you? Just 
Just making sure. What are you talking about? Go and make sure somewhere else. See you later. I'm not done with you. And now I'll knock your teeth in, you thieving vermin. Take care. Oh, dude, imagine getting kicked in the face by fucking these fucking uh, gauntlets. He's trying to fucking grapple me. Yep. What you get, buddy? He's got a bulging purse. I want the cross back, though. It just saved the game. I want to go back and see if I can... I want the cross. Just because it was yeah. Bianca's. Yeah. I hope I can... If you can, he's got... God be with you. All right, Mr. Man. I, you're, uh, I did. I want to buy it. You're too late. Uh, that's a shame. And who did you sell it to? You're a nosy one, aren't you? But what the hell? That he motherfucker. Me out anyway. I sold it to Andrew. See you later. your sticky fingers to yourself how's he outrunning me You're not getting away from me bucko This turned out a way different way than it should have. My, uh... Do I feel bad? Nah. He did whimper like a little bitch, though, and that, uh... That tugs at the old heartstrings just a little bit. But, uh... Shouldn't have stole my girl's cross, man. Sorry. Just remember, Scallops has hitters out here. Always loving some archery experience.
Oh, there's a lot of them. What the fuck? Just fucking do what you want. Who the fuck else wants some? You think just because you disengage, you're good? Of ninnies. Did I hit him? I did. He's just a little speck out there, but we're going to try one more time. Yeah, whatever. Freaking douchers. I guess that's good, though, that they do get scared of me. I think as the game is going on, it's getting like buggier. My horse just fucking ran off. For what seems like no reason. Yeah. So who knows? Andrew the fucking Yeah, dude's name Andrew Shady always up to no good Good day I just wanted to ask about the cross what about it? It wasn't with the rest of the loot and he said that he sold it to you and you believe him? I'd like to buy it. I'm glad you came. You would? Well, if the price is right, how much are you offering? Are we agreed? More. All right. It wasn't easy. So how did it go? I tracked down the charcoal burner, but it wasn't worth it. He didn't have anything with him anymore. He didn't have anything? It's ridiculous. He had to have at least a heap of groschen. And how do you know that? I beat everything he had out of him, and it wasn't more than a few groschen. <laughs> Maybe he managed to drink it all. Maybe. If it was the right man. Are you sure you didn't steal from the wrong person? He confessed and gave up the money. If his conscience was clear, he wouldn't do that, would he? Depends on the type of thrashing you gave him, doesn't it? It doesn't matter. Let's leave it be. You can take those groschen and stick them you know where. Take care. Henry! Stop by and see me when you got time. Oh, now you want to do stuff? Jesus, what have you been up to? So, what are you scheming up this time? Well, we've got this idea. You might have heard there's coin coming to the Tomberg Quarry to pay the workers their overdue wages. Well, I overheard some talk about it. They owe them for a quarter of a year. There's a lot of quarrymen in that quarry. And why aren't we talking about it with Andrew? Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. He sent us to hell. He did? How come? I don't know. He just said he won't do it. Andrew's not interested. Is it that dangerous? 
Look, if I'm going to do this, I want to know everything. <sighs> it's close to Tarnberg. So if we mess something up, we could have problems. But what a pile of silver. Hmm. But it's bound to be well guarded, isn't it? Maybe not, if we time it right. Well, th those, those people work for Sigismund. Uh, yeah, yeah, for Sigismund. But I know Quarrymaster Rupert. Those people don't work for Sigismund. No, they don't. And you think it's all right? Is that what we are now? Common thieves? What do you want me to tell you? Take a good fucking look at us. You're right, but we're up to our necks in shit. But a thing like this? Do you think we're any better off now than we were in Sassau, on our last legs at the tavern? No. I suppose not. So you understand? Ever since Skelet, everything's been going to hell. Why should we have to pay the price for that? To hell with the fucking quarrymen! I just need to find out something first. All right, I suppose. Mm. Good luck, man. It is tough. Matthew told me about his plan. That bollocks with the quarry? What the hell is he thinking? So what do you propose? Matthew and Fritz have made their minds up. You need to tell the commander of the Tomborough garrison that a robbery is in the making. Have him send his best men. When those two fools see how many soldiers there are, with any luck, they'll give up on the idea. But what if they still decide to go for it? Eh? Well, then they'll be in for a very tough time of it. I... Hmm. They're my old mates. You're asking too much of me. I know. But look at what they're trying to do, for Christ's sake. Those quarrymen are honest folk. We never did nothing to know. Yeah, I'm not really with Matthew and Fritz on this one. Take care. Why do they kind of suck? I don't want them to fucking die, though. Mm. Jesus, what are you be about that job? God damn it. God yeah, it. fuck it, we'll see what happens. About that. <sighs> Wonderful. But before we are gonna go and take a try to find out who's gonna be guarding it. Even better, if you could make it so there's as few guards as possible, well, you know, I wouldn't be upset at all. Copy with you.